are always asking me what products I use on my skin to get my glowy look. So I'm super excited to share that Osea has sponsored this video. I am obsessed with their products and so excited to show you my favorites. So the Andaria Algae Body Oil is number one on my list, must have. I use this every morning and every time I get out of the shower. It is made from Andaria seaweed. It is non-greasy. It literally does not leave a greasy finish on your clothes or even your skin. It soaks in but leaves this gorgeous glowing skin. After I put on the oil, I always put on a layer of this Andaria algae body butter. It is amazing. It acts like a mask. It's super dry here in Colorado, so any extra moisture is a a win for me. I am seriously obsessed with both of these products. They are absolutely my favorite. Hands down, cannot live without them. Look at that glow. Then for my face, I love the Hyaluronic C Serum. This helps pull moisture into your skin. It helps your skin feel plumped and hydrated. So I start off by putting this all over my face and neck. I make sure to cover all the areas on my face and neck that need extra moisture, especially living here in Colorado where the climate can be so dry and harsh. Then I go in with the Seabiotic Water Cream. This is so amazing. It is so hydrating. I add this to my face, under my eyes, and my neck, just anywhere I need that moisture. And guys, when I'm done, my skin feels so plump and so hydrated. And at almost 40 years old, I feel like these products really help my skin feel their very best. I feel super hydrated and youthful, which is always a plus. Another reason I love Osea is that their products are all vegan, cruelty-free, they're California-made and climate-neutral, and they are truly some of the highest quality products that I have ever used. And I will have all of these products and a discount code for you guys linked in the description box below. So I start off each day the same way. I make my bed and then I move on to my prayer and gratitude. I'm a big believer in that if you conquer your morning, you conquer your day. And if you start off the day in gratitude, there's no such thing as a bad day. I then make my way to the kitchen where I grab a big mason jar of filtered water and then I add a whole lemon to that mason jar of water. I do this to help flush my liver of all the toxins it's been working all night to clear and it really helps me to rehydrate and I've also seen a marked difference in my skin as well. Guys, so today is not a gym day but I try to get at least 10,000 steps every single day so I am going to throw on some leggings and take nacho for one of a few walks today and then when I come back I need to get ready because I have to get on to some important meetings hey lazy bones you want to go for a walk huh not really <laughs> So I am ready for my meeting. I need to get some breakfast real quick and then hop on these next few hours of meetings. So for breakfast, I'm having this big bowl of oatmeal. It's 50% oats and 50% rice cauliflower that I cook together. And then I added some of these frozen berries and a big banana. I'm also gonna have this cup of spearmint tea, which is my favorite. All right, so here's my big bowl of oatmeal. I just threw some mixed frozen berries in there. It helps cool the oatmeal down. And I did do half rice cauliflower in my oatmeal. So I do one part oatmeal, one part rice cauliflower, and that's kind of like my 50-50 plate. It lets me eat a bigger volume of food for very little additional calories. And then I have banana in there today. And so when I put banana in my oatmeal, I don't feel like I need um, a sweetener, but otherwise I really like some of the flavored stevias. They're so yummy. But I'm gonna eat this really quick because I didn't watch my time very closely and I have to get on to my meetings. Mm. All right, so now I am done with my meeting. I've been sitting for like two hours. So I'm gonna do another walk with Nacho. Come on, baby. 
So I only have 4,800 steps from my walk this morning. So again, I try to get a minimum of 10,000 steps a day and I've just, I get like a caged lion. I can't sit indoors or sit down for very long. Like these meetings are very hard for me. So after I've been sitting for a while, I definitely like to get out and get a walk in and then I get some more work done. All right, so that's where I'm at and we'll see what I get after my walk. But it's starting to get warm again, which is nice. So everything will be greening up here in the next few weeks. So I just got back from my walk and I have 8,300 steps. So I'm getting close to my 10,000 steps and it is only 1 p.m. There's my walking partner. Hi. Hi. You're so handsome and dirty. You need a bath. All right, so I am going to put some sweet potatoes in the oven and then I'm gonna run to the grocery store real quick and pick up a few more produce items that I need while my sweet potatoes bake, but my husband's here so he can keep an eye on the sweet potatoes. So I just poke them with a knife and then roast them for an hour at 425. All right, so I am heading out to the grocery store. The day is going by really fast. I feel like meetings can really eat up an entire day. So I am... Yeah, I'm gonna run and get a couple things that I need to film a reel tomorrow. I'm making cauliflower mac and cheese tomorrow in the reel. It's super easy. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, follow me there. Cause I'm always posting reels there, showing you guys different meals you can make. So yeah. All right, I got my grocery bag and my produce bag. All right, so now I'm back from the store and my sweet potatoes are done. So for lunch, I'm starting off with this big bowl of greens. I've got some cucumber, chickpeas, and red onion in there. I always like to start off with a big bowl of salad to make sure I get those greens in. And then I'm just gonna use some maple mustard dressing. This is just equal parts maple syrup and Dijon mustard mixed together, and it makes a really delicious dressing. Then after I have my salad, I'm gonna eat my lovely sweet potato here that I put garlic salt on and my broccoli that I squeezed a little lemon over and seasoned with some garlic salt. I'm also going to throw a little bit of these teriyaki coconut aminos on top because it's so good. Adds a ton of flavor. See, it's super yummy. Mm. Maple mustard is so good on a salad. If you want to make it a smoky dressing, just add some smoked paprika. I'm talking with my mouth full. But yeah, if you just add some smoked paprika to your maple Dijon mustard mixture, it's so good. And put that over this and add some apples. Mmm, yeah. I might have that tonight. So I am outside in the sun enjoying a little time to myself. I'm gonna read for a little bit before my kids are done with school and all the craziness happens. My daughter has a performance tonight. So I'm going to sit here and enjoy this nice warm weather and read a little bit. But I am reading Turn Off the Fat Genes by Dr. Neil Barnard for like the 20th time. It's a really good read. And I'm also reading again Rich Dad Poor Dad, which I love as well. well I get extra steps by walking down to my mailbox like I'm doing right now <laughs> and it's like a mile away I swear um my trash cans have to go down to the main dirt road that then connects to the main road so I'll take trash bags down or I'll you know take my recycling down that's another way I get more steps um right now Right now I'm just walking to go meet my kids and then we'll walk back to the house together. Hi, Naja. You're so cute. So all there was in the mail was jury summons. I know we all love get <laughs> getting those. I like, where are you taking picture of me? I'm not, I'm taking video because you're so cute. Okay. You have mango all over your face. I know. Um, Do you love mango? What's your favorite fruit though? 
Starfruit. Starfruit, the most expensive fruit out there in Colorado. All right, so for dinner, I'm gonna roast these spaghetti squashes and have some spaghetti squash and some garlic bread. Everyone else is having leftovers tonight. Okay, so I am going to make some dinner for myself. We have to get to my daughter's performance in a little bit, so everybody's just gonna heat up leftovers. They are fighting over the leftover chickpea curry and the leftover black beans and rice, so I will let them figure that out, and I'm gonna have some roasted spaghetti squash, and I'll show you what I pair with that. Okay, but do any of you other moms feel like as soon as your kids are done with school and they get into the kitchen it just gets destroyed because look at this it's there's stuff everywhere like what happened i had a clean house this morning and then on my table there's all sorts of stuff i just i don't even understand messy it is a collection of unnecessary stuff <laughs> oh and i am at i'm at 10,800 steps so far so i'm gonna take a few trips down to the trash can and the recycling that need to be done. Um, and that'll probably give me like another thousand steps or so, but it'll probably be about 12,000 for the day. But my trash can is, I swear, like a quarter mile away. So it's good <laughs> exercise. And our neighbor just saw that the bears are out of hibernation and out and about. So we really need to be, build like a bear proof enclosure for our trash cans so that they don't get into it. I'm just surprised they haven't figured out where the compost pile is. So it's been several years and they haven't figured it out. So here's the hoping. You having some chickpea curry? Yep, and some rice and I have my pita. All right. All right, so for dinner, I'm gonna add this fat-free marinara sauce to my roasted spaghetti squash, and then I've got some sauteed mushrooms, zucchini, and onions that I throw on top. And then for my starch today, I really just wanted to have garlic bread. So I just take this sourdough and I add this minced garlic to the top. And then I season it with a little garlic salt and roast it in my air fryer. Mm. All right, so I'm going to eat my dinner kind of quick because we are running out of time. we got to get to my daughter's performance. So... I don't know if I can actually finish all this food in 15 minutes, probably not. So I may have to eat my dinner when we get back. the performance I need to finish eating my dinner and then got to do story time hugs and kisses and then hopefully I'll have a little time to read or watch some tv and I'll probably have a snack because I always do look at my floor do your guys's floors look like this at the end of the day look and I haven't even swept it all up yet and that's my gross compost bucket and it, all the compost stuff gets flung onto the side of my island <laughs> Hashtag real life. But yeah, look at how gross my floor is. This is at the end of every day and I blame it on my children. And look, it just keeps coming. So I am admittedly kind of a neat freak. I like everything, everything has its place. It shouldn't, you know, after you use it, you should be able to put it back, but it's hard for some people. Um, but I definitely, I like to go to bed with a clean kitchen and clean, you know, communal living space because I like to wake up to a clean space. So I will be cracking down on the way this is being left at night <laughs> lately. Because this sweeping is actually my children's chores and cleaning the kitchen, but everybody has already scattered and gone to bed so hmm. oh there's one of my children guess what you get to do vacuum up the mess on the floor okay yes don't play dumb <laughs> i guess why not why not 
Is this your chore every night or not? You want a snack too? Yes, you want some sweet potato? Yes, you want it. It's so good. It's so good. <laughs> Yummy. Yummy, I don't have any more. Here we go. Cutie patootie. All right, so I always have a cup of tea a little bit before bed and a little snack. And tonight I'm gonna have some of these medjool dates. They are my absolute favorite. And then I'm gonna have some of this crunchy mint dark chocolate. This is my absolute favorite brand and I just find it in my regular grocery store. husband is back there making himself a mug cake. Remind your way. No, as long as you're quiet, we'll be okay. All right, so medjool dates are some of my favorites. Um, if you put them in the fridge and let them get cold, then they're kind of like hard and chewy, like a caramel, and they taste like caramel. So I love these for a little snack at night before I go to bed. I am a chronic night snacker and I always have a snack before bed. All right guys, that's gonna be it for me today. I'm going to go crawl in bed and do some reading and head off to sleep. Remember you can follow me on Instagram if you don't already. Remember to love yourselves and spread that love to somebody else. I love you guys and I'll see you next time.